Here's some Lewis diagrams for some just randomly picked molecules. Here's CO2, NH3, SF2, CH4. Let's do some Lewis, Lewis diagrams. So, count up the number of valence electrons. Carbon's in group 4, oxygen's in group 6, but there's two of them. 6 times 2 is 12, 12 plus 4 is 16. Making sense? Okay. So now, what are you going to do? You know what? It kind of looks like you got a C and two O's. I wouldn't put the O's together and then a C, O, O kind of deal. I kind of make the thing look symmetrical by actually taking that and putting two O's on it. Just to, it kind of just makes sense, you know? So here's the deal. You put down a C and you bond it to an O and you bond it to another O. Now, there's 16 valence electrons. I've got two, four. So now I'm just going to start to, from the outside I work in to be able to get uh, the lone pairs in now. And what I said before, just count up the dots. It's really count up the dots and count up the lines, right? And by the way, some teachers actually, instead of putting lines in between, put two dots in between there for a bond. Yeah, people do that, but that's not standard form. And you can just say to your teacher, um, I'd rather prefer to put the lines in because it's standard form. It's good form to do that, don't you think? And if your teacher says no, you'll go, uh, okay. Now, so that's two, four. Then I go like this. Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Whoa, done. But the carbon doesn't have its octet. The oxygens do, two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight, but the carbons don't. What do you do? Multiple bonds. So there, you take those lone pairs and you make them share between this one and this one here by putting it in a bond. Oh, look, that's cool. If we do it twice, Oh man, lucky, lucky, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, that's the total. 2, 4, 6, 8 around that oxygen, 2, 4, 6, 8 around the carbon, 2, 4, 6, 8, yes! And so that is the Lewis diagram for carbon dioxide. Does carbon dioxide really have two double bonded carbons going to oxygens? You bet it does. That's so cool. Just doing it on paper, we get the reality of the situation. Neat. All right, NH3. So that's going to be nitrogen in group 5, hydrogen in 1, it's got one valence electron, 6, 7, 8, so that's 8. So what am I going to do? I'm going to do this, see? It just looks kind of symmetrical. And that's going to be 2, 4, 6, 8. Hydrogen has completed its duet. 2, 2, 2 for every high, one of these. 2, 4, 6, 8 for the nitrogen. That's the Lewis diagram for ammonia, NH3, SF2. So I go S and I put two F's on there. That's what I do. And now, oh, by the way, <laughs> you better count up the valence electrons. So that's group seven times two is 14 plus six is 20 because that's in group six of the periodic table. Okay, so 20, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Well, look at that. Two, four, six, eight around everything here and it's a 20 total. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it right there, the Lewis diagram for SF2. Woo! And then the last one, CH4, well, carbon's in group 4 and hydrogen's in group 1 times 4 is going to give you 4 plus 4 is 8. So carbon's in the middle, 4 hydrogens around it. Hey, everybody, 2, 4, 6, 8 octet around the carbon, duets completed for, uh, for the hydrogens, and you have single bonds all going from the carbons to the hydrogens in that molecule of methane. That's really cool. And now not only can you do just simple molecules like that, but you can actually do even their polyatomic ions.